All right. On another issue, what is the gender workplace hours gap? The agency reports a workplace gender pay gap comparing male full-time employees and female full-time employees. But male full-time employees work longer hours on average than female full-time employees. And the agency doesn't account for this when reporting a workplace gender pay gap. Using ABS data on employee earnings and hours, the gender pay gap as at May 2016 was 15.7%. It is a survey, it is a survey of employees, that information from the ABS. It's not a census. Um, and it's only conducted every two years. They only collect the data every two years. Um, what we do do is we annualise our figure to full time. So we look at all part time employees and full time employees that may have worked part of a 12 month period and we, anal we annualise that data to take into account part time hours. Um, so therefore, we're converting the part time hours to full time, if you like. So do, so do you take into account the fact that on average a male full-time employee works longer hours than a female full-time employee? N not directly, no. You don't? We an but we annualise the part-time hours and those that have worked full-time but for part of the year. So that way, because at the moment, uh, what I can tell you is w women work part-time at three times the rate of men. Mm. So by annualising it, we are looking at a, a more um, mm -hmm. realistic... So based on annual salary. Yeah. What about if you did it on an hourly rate? What would be the gender hourly pay gap? Well, we don't have that data, Senator. You don't have that data? No, because we ask for annualised salaries because, uh, and from our employers when they report their data in. Okay, so if, uh, if a woman was working fewer hours but earning the same uh, rate per hour as a man doing the same job, would that show up as a gender pay gap? No. But, well, then in that case you are looking at, uh, hourly, at, at hourly rates. <sighs> Um, Jenny Imbrudov, Research and Analytics Executive Manager. So um, we, do not, we do not collect the real hours that an employee might have worked. So what we do collect is the hours that are specified in a contract and that is provided by organisations to us. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, if you, do you annualise it on the assumption that men and women are working the same number of hours or is it ac actual earnings? It's actual earnings and we are unable to, we don't have the data to distinguish or to, to then unadjust for, or adjust for hours because mm. we, are, we, are not, we cannot collect the real hours that employees are worked, so, working. So it's not possible to tell whether any or some of the gender pay gap is just simply attributable to a different number of hours worked, is that right? It depends on whether um, we are looking at hours that are in contract or whether um, whether we are looking at hours that employees worked as you know over time. Why, why is it you don't look at hours worked? You don't collect it, but the ABS does. It's available. The ABS does yeah. uh, does a survey. Yes, every two years. Yes. And that's, but, it, but again, as I say, we collect census data, that is survey data. And the other thing I would say at this stage, Senator, is just because somebody might be sitting at their desk for 12 hours a day doesn't mean you're getting 12 hours of productivity out of them and doesn't mean that uh, they're working, in essence, any harder than someone, may, that, as someone that may sit at their desk for eight hours. So but I don't that, think... That's true, but they're getting paid for the 12 whether they're doing any work or they're, or they're getting paid for however many hours they're sitting at their desk. But and the issue for your agency is that uh, a, if it's a male sitting at a desk, they're getting paid more than a female sitting at a desk. 
So the, the question is whether, the, irrespective of the hours, uh, the question is whether for, the, for those hours for which they're getting paid, is there a difference between men and women? So, so we don't collect information on our senator. ABS does, so it's available. So if we put in a question on notice, will you access the ABS data and, and so you can answer that question? Well, I, I did answer it earlier. I said that the ABS employee and earnings and, and hours data, uh, as at May 2016, the gender pay gap was 15.7%. That, if I understood you correctly, that's referring to annualised salary, is that right? Not. What, what's not the that, gap based on? Per hourly rates or, or annual incomes or annualised incomes or what are we talking about here? Okay. The, um, the EEH data, so that's the uh, employee earnings and hours data includes all employees regardless of employment status and reflects ordinary time cash earnings. The EEH survey produces hourly earnings for non-managers and can be used to produce a gender pay gap measure inclusive or exclusive of part-time employees. The EEH data can also be configured in a variety of other ways that are useful to the gender pay gap estimates, e.g. managerial versus <laughs> non-managerial employees. Um, the big drawback from where we sit is that EEH data was identified as being, it, it's, it's just done on a two-year cycle. I don't think I can think of many men who would find it acceptable that a woman, irrespective of how many hours she's working in the day, if she's doing the same amount of work as a man, uh, or the same job as a man, I'm sorry, um, was paid any less on the basis that she's a woman. <coughs> I, I can't think of any men who would, uh, who would support that. And yet, because you're not looking at hours, we don't know whether that's occurring or not. Am I right there? Senator, I think um, at this stage, as I've said to you, we, we are unable to uh, collect and analyse that data. There are other countries, of course, that do do that. Um, and we will... Not even every two years with the ABS survey data? You could do it at least every two years. And, and I gave you the figure of 15.7 per cent based on the calculation that we last did. What, what's uh, the 15.7 reflect? So what, what I was about to say, Senator, is um, I'm happy to take that question on mo notice and go back and look at that last calculation that we did and provide you with the workings on that. 